I'm going to take you through our click element step in our Axiom Builder. It's obviously the step that you use to click on buttons. It's got a couple of really useful features I'm going to show you. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. So on screen, I've already got a click element that clicks on a message on this Instagram page behind me. I'm just going to show you how I would set up this click element step on this page because it'll show you all the feature, the range of features within the step. Okay, first of all, when you add this step, you're going to need to select the button. So let's do that. It is point and click. It's that easy. I press complete. Now, you'll see with this step and only with this step, a selection made. Do you want to click this element? Now, we have we've got this feature where you can press confirm and cancel. And that's because when you're creating automation, sometimes you need to click through a button to the next stage to add another step to, to then build out the flow. So we've added this step to allow you to click that button. So when you add your next step and do your, another selection, you're already in that next section. For now, I'm just going to press cancel and ignore it. Okay, before I go any further though, Sometimes it's not as always as, as easy as click and point. Sometimes the selectors change. Now, especially on Instagram, because you can go from page to page and sometimes following isn't there or there's an additional element within, within this top toolbar that means the selector changes for message. So sometimes it's really handy to use this feature I'm going to show you. And click on custom and I'm going to use text instead of um, a CSS selector. And because that text is unique, it is message, uh, so, and it says message, we can just click on it and find it, locate it, actually, well, sorry, locate it by the text, which is really useful. But please note, if you're running um, Axiom in the cloud and you're running it in a different language, for example, um, it can, can obviously change the value in there, and it might be for example, we had a user that set it in Dutch, but when he ran the bot, it was in English. So you may need to look out for that. Okay, so I'm going to press complete. But by the way, you can refine those selectors yourself by um, working them, working th through them in this panel. You can input them and edit them here. And we can refine them. For example, and we could just change the, the, the nth type there to one. What doesn't get following? So maybe we'll try this. Etc. But you can experiment with your selectors there and you can use Chrome Inspector to find others. But generally, I like this. I found this a really good get out of jail card when something isn't working. Use element text instead of HTML. You can also pass if you want to loop through selectors, by the way, it's something you can get into and do reach out for help if you get stuck with this and you want to do this. You can insert data from a Google Sheet and have your selectors in there. And then Axiom will just loop through those different selectors, clicking on different buttons, which is a really handy feature too. Now, I'm not going to dwell here too long. I'm going to move on and bring press complete. I'm not going to press confirm. Now, of course, we have different types of click, the left click or the right click. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you do choose to do a right click and then you want to choose an option, I would suggest a key press step after the click because you'll see the menu come up from the right click and then you can probably use the up and down arrows and the return to select an option. Okay, finally, optional click. Again, this is really useful, the optional click. Why? Because let me quickly tell you, explain to you I'm one of the fundamentals of Axiom. When it runs, if a step throws an error, error, sorry, the bot will stop unless you have ignore errors on. Now, this optional click allows, if you select it, what will happen if a button isn't found, because it's not always, buttons aren't always present on every page, which is true for this page. You can't, for example, always message someone. Sometimes you cannot message someone. Now, if we didn't have the optional click on, for example, and that button tried to click and message someone, then it would throw an error and the axiom would stop. So you can avoid having to, um, have the axiom stop by adding an optional click if it's a button that just appears on occasion. That's the click element step. If you do get stuck at all or you need some help with the axiom, do reach out. Thank you.